everybody, it's Son of Beast here, and I am here with Gangster Beast. We are back for another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. We're ready to see who has the next one to take. And this time, the first one we're going to start in the Western Conference. We're going to bring it up first. The Thunders taking on the Wolves. Now, the better take is back in Game 4, as the Thunders are already surpassing the Timberwolves. The better way to have, because they have been knocking it over, better takes in the offense, and they are really are stepping stepping strong in. The OKC Thunders, that's your game shape, Gordon Alexander. He's been like putting the three pointers, but this one goes to Will Jalen Williams with a winning three pointer since game three. And then after that happened, all their team has been pushing back permanently, going it the right way. And now this is the time. It's a winner go home four minutes to the Wolves. Will they answer it back? Or will the Thunders rule all in game five and move on to the Western Conference Finals to face against the Dallas Mavericks? Let's hope there is a chance if the take-in is on. Now for the commentaries I have is Kevin Harlan, and he's along with 2K Sports Crew and David Alden on the sideline. Now enjoy yourself in this part of the game as the Wolves and Thunders at Target Center. Let's go! Enjoy! Towns. 
to the wing right side. Here's McDaniels. Offensive rebound. A kick out to Towns. Outside Conley. Shot clock at five. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to Dallas. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Now here's Towns. He's coming off a 28 point Call Anthony Towns! Wow, time and time again, and really delivered at the free throw line. Huge contribution there, guys. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves getting the first points of the ball game. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Right side, Dort. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Dort stepping in just a little bit, gets to the mid range and shows some confidence there. Outside, Edwards. Back to Conley. Shoots over Gildas Alexander. No good off the back of the rim. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Pass to Holmgren. Over Gobert. Holmgren can't hit. For Minnesota, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple of years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. No, 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 no. That's good. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate the open court when a steal triggers the break. Now here's Conley. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Here's Williams. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And the pressure he put on that shot forced. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Williams against Towns. Back to Conley. Here's McDaniels. Second shot opportunity. Yuri Gobert. Keeping Gobert off the boards. He has a tremendous nose for the ball. Gilgis Alexander against Conley. Holmgren wide open. Offline with his three. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The last encounter was in Oklahoma City where they were able to handle the Thunder. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. It yeah, never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. Now here's Towns. After the miss from Jim Holmgren. Conley scanning the floor. And there's the goal by Jim Holmgren. That's his first foul. Of course, Steve Powell. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Good defense. Holmgren with that length. Boy, I think he can guard one through five. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Outside Conley. Here's McDaniels. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been future here to this quarter. It's funny how much the defense has to focus more on not leaving their man when Giddy has the ball. Here's Conley. After the main shot from Shed Holmgren. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. McDaniels passes to Gobert. Over Giddy. Rory Gobert. Just Alexander. He had a 36 point outing in the last game against Dallas. The other part of his game was the outstanding D. Shot blocking is a huge momentum shifter, and his two blocks really turned the game in their team's favor. Carl Anthony Carl! 
Looking at it too now, you can know that Chris Finch has already been showing it off. That probability has made a great effort. You know, the pressure happens. I always say that he is really well keeping an eye on them. And it's interesting you know right now, Chris Finch has been as the American basketball coach. After, after doing it with his better for professional of his league, he wants to take the next step ever. He was previously assistant for the coach with the Houston Rockets and Denver Nuggets with the New Orleans Pelicans and Toronto Raptors. But now, his current team of the of current uh, coaching with is the Wolves. You know, better offense is better way to take. Because the last time it happened with Toronto Raptors, that was the assistant. But now, this time, Minnesota Wolves, they're ready to have a head coach running on his way. The better one happened to be an all-star game head coach, and that was this year, in 2024, in Indianapolis. Now the better thing is about the question is that Chris Finch will be able to see what he can do for his next head coach for a new season. So there's a chance if he does one. Hopefully, might be a better on the take. Hopefully, you may never know. Now back to Kevin Arlen. Kevin? Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. New substitution now for the Wolves. Number 11, Dodge Reed. Number 1, Walker, he's Kyle Anderson. Number 9, Kido. Alexander Walker. And number 6, Jordan. The clock And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Trent! Mount Parkland! Going to the line for one. He plays a foul on the bundle. Chris Wallace. And his first was no foul. The second team foul. And a moment now, look at these. The line for the Wolves. Where are the points are? Trent! Mount Parkland! Shooting right from the jump. They've been working hard to establish themselves inside. Using agility and power to get shots in the paint. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Deepers! Really by three. Deepers! Hayward looking around. Wallace outside. Hayward against Anderson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Joe. Drops in the train. And it really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. Here's Alexander One. Looking at his point production. Short Mo Statistic by Nikita Alexander Walker. The minutes were being the folks. One good decision in the first quarter of the game. Here's Joe. In the corner, Wallace with it. Unloads from 13. Here's Williams. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some harder second chance points. Outside, Edward. Pass to McLaughlin. And here's Reed. Floats one. And no! Three! And the Timberwolves hit by two. Well, that screen wasn't quite as effective as it could be. However, they find a way to get it done. Credit to Shooter for overcoming that aggressive defense. Here's Joe. The best we do on the assist from Hayward. Joe's got five. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Here's the pass to McLaughlin. Here's Alexander Walker. Good. Good. Nikita Alexander Walker. That shot. Just the bar. Inside. It's working. Do it. Walker. Wiggins against Edwards. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Wallace. Oklahoma 
Austin, he needs to get off the shot. Sure, he goes. Gets the buckets. I mean, the number of the points they've scored in the paint all year. It is eye-opening. Here's McLaughlin. Five points in the game. Passes it to Edwards. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Green. And no! Sweet! Assisted by Jordan McLaughlin. For the rest of the team, he's at ball back. Messi into the first quarter. One part of the Minnesota Wolves. Wolves won so far. 19. The Wolves lead by OKC okay, Thunder. 17. Get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Great start effort here. A little bit of a comeback between the switch and switch. We'll have the second quarter coming up after this. Teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And guys, what's your take so far on the Timberwolves? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. But uh, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Trailing by two. The front court is McDaniel's show. That's Conley. And it's Alexander Walker. And at the two guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Ray, we're just talking about Jed Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You, you think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. Daniels, no good. Thunder shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Gobert against Holmgren. And here's Conley outside. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. The key to Alexander Walker! Mike Green! And you know, Conley, the Mike Conley with the assist. In terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. And that one was good to Gilgis Alexander. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Towns, the best do Alexander Walker. Oh, oh, the ball off the call on the key to Alexander Walker. That is his first foul of the game. Okay, she oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Bill just Alexander passes to Williams. Now oh, here's Giddy. He's guarded closely. Near the three-point line, it's Holmgren. And no good, had a chance to take the lead there. Minnesota's gone one or two on three quarters here in the second quarter. So the Kilo Alexander Walker. Five, three, go bear. Gilgis Alexander against Conley from 12 feet out. Go bear pulls it in. Go bear's got his fourth rebound in this one. Two and just under two minutes gone by. Rudy Gobert! So a three point point. He takes a foul on the Thunder. Shut the phone grid. His fourth down the line. He's got his first chance at the line here. Dante Moore is no longer walks. Rudy Gobert. One shot. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Defense! 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 Defense!
Burns. Morris against Gilgis Alexander. Williams with a clean hook. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Jay, you were helps that the defense thinks that Jay Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. That's to Alexander Walker. Towns, the bounce pass. Rudy Gobert! For this Just to buy Call it for me, Towns. With their offensive execution. Time out. OKC Fuddles. Time to talk it over. Pretty good so far right now in the quarter, but it seems like that we are getting a little bit closer to the, the end of the first half, so we, we have the next one coming up. We have this Curry Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Sean O'Neill. That'll be all the games here that's coming up after the first half is completed. They'll be talking about the Wolves rallying things in. And if the funders are in trouble, we will have another currency to have a look right in between the two of the alley. Hey, it is no question to ask now because the Wolves already just show them up. That just goes with the tape because it means that happens with one of the guys. They really can't let that happen now. Well, as you may have already noticed now, I mean, there might, there might be one, one tape or one chain tape or so. You'll find out for sure. Uh-huh. That's what they all say now. You can't mess them up with the Wolves. That's all the games coming up here for the halftime show. Right after this. Stay tuned. As the playoffs here, let's take a look at the Western Conference standings. You take a look at the Thunder. They continue to play strong basketball, not utterly dominant as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. Of course, there's the Timberwolves, two spots down. And you know, for the Thunder, that's where men are made. You've got to have their sights very high at this point when it comes to the postseason. free throw is good. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brett, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor, so there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. And Williams drops them both. And a little over three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Morris passes to Gobert. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got his sixth rebound on the night. And now the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Sure. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. How about the vertical of Gilgis Alexander? A guard who can get up. Let's go, Morris. Yeah. Pass to McDaniels. Take the open three when he's got it. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Eight points for the Gilgis Alexander. Minnesota leading by three. Morris dishes to Gobert. Pass to Alexander Walker. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Monte Morris for three. First points of the game. Sister Bob. Akira Alexander Walker. Gilgis Alexander against Morris. Holmgren with it. Right side, Torch. It's Williams, high post. Here's Gate. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got six rebounds now in the game. Monte Morris. 
assisted by Carl Anthony Towns. Now Morris being a little bit quicker inside to get the high percentage look. That's the giddy. Back to Williams. Fires the three. And the Thunder with another three. And I like the way they're using the entire court. So I know. Minnesota. Where the three point percentage has gone through the roof. Time out call. First of the game for Minnesota. Very great. You just don't see many point guards taller than 6'8. But Josh Giddy is one of them. And Josh does a great job, Greg, of using that size to his advantage. He gets into positions on the floor where he can see over the level of the defense and make some spectacular passes. Looks like it's very close, close game right at the moment, but later that, the later on the other side of the night, we will have a next part of the game that's going to be happening here. As we don't want to miss this one out, as we got the next game underway, as we as we have the key Valley against the Cavaliers, that'll be only the game on the other side, back at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. So if you're tuning into the other side of it, don't miss that one out. A chance opportunity play will not be a, a, a appreciable because this one will be on, on its way down to the other side of the zone. That's going to be all right here, only on Sunday Beats. And back to NHL, will be all for game six. Keep your eyes peeled on that, as for the second side of it, will be on, on its way before the triple header on the other side. Keep it peeled, right in between. Back to Kevin. Halftime show's coming up. Oh, big group substitution now for Minnesota. Now three, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for the game. Substitution goal for the Brooks. Number five, Anthony Edwards. Number one, Kyle Anderson. The Thunder also changing it up. Williams is checked in for three. Gordon Hayward comes in for Dort. And Wallace subbed in for John. Carl Anthony Towns. Impressive shot from Towns, maintaining his balance despite the contact. Williams with the ball, now guarded by Tom. Charity strike shot. No good, that's miss number two against three makes from the field. Timberwolves lead Two nice. minutes remaining in the for side. Two minutes. 156 left now here on the second. Reed kicks to Edwards. And Anthony Edwards for three! No, it's really with the assist. Thunderball. Alright, here's a look at stats for Gilgis Alexander. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Averaging about 32 points, 7 assists, and 8 rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. Something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders. When he is in the game, a great conduit for them offensively. He knows where everyone is at all times. Out to the right way. Outside Edwards. Here's Anderson. Edwards trying to get open. And then go the bucket. Now it's three. Foul is the of the game. Foul, of course. Foul is three. Anderson. A fifth of bar. This works for Steve Ball. For Steve Ball. Now he hasn't made one yet. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. This is the ball. Boarding the tape. Such a great element to have a one guard who can get to the tape. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Towns, no luck. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Hayward can't hit. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Call Anthony Towns! Assisted by even for Jordan McLaughlin. Killer instinct. Just Manny the fight. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Cool. Draw points for Williams. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Here's McLaughlin. Ball is covering. Here's McLaughlin. And he hits Jordan. McLaughlin. Got 
the lead up the team. Well, she had a look for a shot. Minnesota Wolves. 49. Who can she put those? There she is. Big key. The percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by the court side. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like. Played well at all the first half and stuff. We're missing all of us, are missing a lot of easy money, we're missing layups for us as pros. So, uh, second half, we make those layups. Uh, we should be fine. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsmith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. They led by two after the first. They really poured it on in the second quarter, building the lead to 10 points. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? They're playing with speed, pushing the ball up, turnovers, and long rebounds, and running every chance they get. As we are going to score another break, so we're going to here and find an open shot from the half court. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Oklahoma City? Well, it's never fun. You're playing against the team. That's on fire. The team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shit. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. And Gildas Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. It's a 10 point game. Taking a look at the Thunder, the post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort in a small sure. hole. And the shot goes down. And yeah, they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Pass it to McDaniels. Back to Conley. Takes the three. The Thunder pull it in. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready Josh to pull the trigger. Nice throw. That's three. coming along for Josh Giddy. Timberwolves leading by five. Pass to McDaniels. And for those who turn it in with about a minute in the second, Conley takes the job. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Assisted by Twelve. Jordan McLaughlin. Trailing by seven. Down low. Here's Williams. The shot is good. Gilgis Alexander misses a play. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander. Jordan McLaughlin. The footwork. Kevin is impeccable. Three level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Here's Dort. They cross the jam off the door. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. against Williams. It kicks to come. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. Under trailing by five. Getting the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And play stops. Which Offensive foul on the Thunder. Josh Giddy. He's going to force the foul here for Shane. Wolf ball. Now beyond the lead, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Call. You gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Cameron Williams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Towns kicks to Conley. Mike Conley! Conley's got his first impulsive call. How 
Oh. Call and Grenito! So far about the offense for the for the Timberwolves. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those break. buckets inside. inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. The free throw drops for town. Substitution so might not Where be a guy with more heart than Carl Anthony Towns. Number one. This works to Carl Anderson. This is a guy who uh, number cares about the game. Anthony Edwards. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for McDaniels. And it's Edwards in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. And Towns chops them both. And the NBA Brent doing away with positions for the votes for all NBA teams. Uh, we could see some interesting all NBA teams now, though, with that in mind. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin, especially in a game that is dominated by wings and guards because of player movement and three point shooting. Uh, 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 rewarding the guys who have had phenomenal seasons and are deserving of that kind of recognition. And the Timberwolves call time. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, right? This time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Separate the shot clock and game clock. Getting the events now. Here's Anderson. Barry Coyle, Anderson. Anderson's got a second bucket tonight. Just the ball. Quick, cook it. Put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Now, here's Holmgren. He's got 10. Comes up empty down low. That's the end of the third quarter. Minnesota Timberwolves, 69. They're playing up in the season. It's working 62. And we'll be back with you shortly. It's going to be a tight one here, but it looks like the Wolves are striking back in the fifth game. Let's hope this one keeps on coming when we come back after the break.
And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. We yeah, had an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. It's the fourth quarter. Make some noise if you want. No, we. The two towering figures inside for him: Towns and Gobert. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing, and it's McDaniel's at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards. And the tip assisted by Rudy Gobert. Starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander. He's making plays all over the floor. Gilgis Alexander will not be stopped. It's Edwards on the wing. Conley against Gilgis Alexander. Conley kicks to Towns. He dishes it to Gobert. Over Hayward. A special team here putting it in for, for, for everybody for a favorite moment. As you call it for Carl Anthony Towns, the American, American professional basketball player on the point four position. Known as Scott, he has definitely attended one of his way in and was the Dominican Republic national team as a 16 year old. Selected the first overall pick in 2015 NBA draft. More in detailed description when the next time out has been called. Back together. With David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Dagno talking to his team during the break. Now, he tore into his guys. He said, your body language is awful right now. You don't even look like you want to play right now. Should I sub in for you? Where's the drive to win? Guys. Thank you, David. Here's Joe. Edwards defending. And contact is over So he'll be sure to free throws in quality of play. So it works so far. Works the ball. Shoot 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 the ball.
after the long night's with you. I've got a bad feeling already. Did that mean, sir? That block couldn't be stopped already. He really wants to have that shot to get that one in there, close game. First one falls for. And you know what happens here because of that foul. This is what has currently in here. He had done too many times. The first one in the first half and the other one for the second half. That's not going to happen. They're going to need to find another way to get approved. So after making the first, he goes one for two. They have been more than dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And Joe Bear kicks to McDaniel. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Fires it up. They get it back. Here's Towns. Call Anthony Towns. A lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. He'll just have a chance. The Thunder with another miss. Here's Minnesota. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Anthony Edwards! Oh, Mike Conley! And any time, Edwards always in the play. Alexander passes to Williams. A shot's good. Gilgis Alexander makes his play. Gilgis Alexander is assist number five here tonight. Conley kicks to Towns. Outside Conley. Inside. And Towns. Anthony Towns. Assisted by Mark Conley. by 17. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Joe, good on the triple. Joe's got four points now in the quarter. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it. Went right into the shot. Conley is just to go there. Knocked away. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Outside, Dort. Joe passes to Gilgis Alexander. Two free throws are up, up, and they call the second foul. Two throws, personal foul. Love the game. I mean, a young guard could be a good one. The to get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. Substitutional for the Timberwolves. Number one his eyes. Nas Reed. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Minnesota. He'll just Alexander hits them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Master Reed. Williams against Towns. As to McDaniels. Puts up a deep three. They get it back. Back to Reed. Tries again. No good that time. And that's an important rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. Passes it to Holmgren. Assisted by Paul James Gavitelli. Single digits for the final. Minnesota Wolves. Call time. And it doesn't like how things are going right now. Timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum 
and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. So as I talked about him before, the car happened with Towns. He's been paid with the Canadians for his long selected first overall pick in 2015, and had went on to be the named NBA Rookie of the Year for the 2015-16 season. Has received All-Star selections and won 2021-22 NBA three-point contests in Cleveland, Ohio. He's also a way he's known playing his college with Kentucky for the 2014-15 season. The better of his name not to be the early life range that happened with all the all the part of his father that has played basketball at Monmouth University and coached the Scattering Technical High School. He's really like all in a professional way, but Towns on never jersey to be born. And then for Minnesota, he's definitely keeping it on. Hey, always know, another jersey's been bringing in. First is Jalen Brunson, then we have his Carl Anthony Towns. Everybody's been playing all over each other. They've got to know that one right away. And now it's time to present your New Balance Player of the Game, Kevin. Who do you got? And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Anthony Towns. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion creating a lot of good looks for himself. But but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Now, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in big form as long as he can. Timberwolves leading by nine. Over to the left wing. There's McDaniels. He traded it. McDaniels! He's got a great sense of the ball as a passer. He can't always make the flashy pass, but he will make the smart The kick out to Williams. And the call is going to be called to Boss. Yes, it is. Josh is free. It's second ball. Wolf ball! Not even close to being a legal screen. Everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Minnesota's gone one or two. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Conley against Gilgis Alexander. And there's the pass to Towns. Over Williams. And he Towns. Towns has got 23. Jaden McDaniel with the assist. Yeah, dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And he hits it. He's all in. Three point possibility. He can break the first throw. Coaches love him. He's Alexander. And the way that he's working, he's refusing to give in. Gets that kind of airtight defense. Shooting for the Olympics and Shake the board is on center. One shot. Two
a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're down by 10. 43 seconds left in the game. And there's a lot of chance up for right now. Looks like the Wolves might be rallying things up. And it's part of the next game that's happening back at game number six in OKC. This is where it comes in now because it's now coming to a 3-2 series. They're trying to look to see if they can try to win this game again to tie it up. It's not always easy, but trying yourself hard wasn't always the luck. Hey, better regards to this offense. They have no other regards to have that one position up because if they don't do it, then that's when they don't really play it out. They don't get that well in time and often play. They just need to keep on going. And for the post-game show coming up underway, we will have another quick discussion between how the players do and for the next stack up for game six on its rally, looking for the conference finals between the winner of the Celtics and the winner against the Mavericks. Next, after this. Anderson is checked in for the Timberwolves. Morris comes in for Michael Conker. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Here's Gilgis Alexander. No good on the quick three. Reed with it. Morris outside to the paint. Here's Anderson. Ice D from Williams. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And Anderson kicks to Morris. Nancy game! This final score, Minnesota Wolves, 92. The OKC Thunder, 82. They started to really play in rhythm. You never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Oliver to speak to Bob from the sideline. Hi, right, David. Thanks very much. Rudy, what did the bench do to help you get this win tonight? I've been used. You know, they, they brought us back in the game, and uh, everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't an easy night for us at the beginning, but we kept fighting, and uh, it's a big win for us. And I'm sure you want to keep it going, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. All right, thank you so much, sir, Kevin. A big win for Minnesota. Now brings back the team down. A 3-2 series here, and it's now going to be a tightness game for the Western Conference. And here's how you did with the total statistics of how they've done. The Wolves had 65% of the field goals. Only 46 happened with the OKC Funders that had three pointers over 36 for Minnesota. And for free throws was 86 for OKC Funders. Then it was a lot of them. It happened with the Minnesota Timberwolves on the fast break. Points in the paint with 58 and 16. Second chance points was 6. Bench points was 34. 35 assists here for Minnesota. And it's 6 offensive rebounds for for Minnesota and defensive rebounds for 23. Then the steals happened here. Only four for OKC Funders. But with the chance number for Carl Anthony Towns, no block has made. Only five turnovers for Minnesota. Both teams received 14 fouls as they were evened up everything. Four dunks for OKC Funders, 17 biggest lead for Minnesota with time possession, 7-22. Hey, I gotta say now, Minnesota Wolves, they're gonna keep it going, they're gonna get it done. Let's show them up how they can. Alright, there, Mr. Gangsta. I think it's now time for yours to use yours to shine, but, um, but in that case, right at the moment, I'll let you stick around for, for most of the time. Yeah, you know what? Every day, every game happened with that moment. They really enjoyed it. Time for three star players of the game. How about you wait, Mr. Sort of Peace? You finish it off. Alright, thanks, thanks so much. As for right now, we have a great one statistic to put in there. Only 16 points for Jalen Williams with 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and two, 3 assists, and 2 steals. 6 out of 8 field goals with 2 3-pointers, and it was 23 performance effort. Just how hard it can be, but Jalen Williams will have to recover it if they're ready for Game 6 of the matchup. Number 2, as we send you over right down toward the other way, 
I've got a great looks of his appearance to give it over to Shea Gagordis Alexander with 19 points, one rebound, seven assists, one steal, and only made two dumps with 36 performance effort. Had that one coming in straight by, only 8 out of 11 field goal has made, and perfect free throws for 3 for 3. An excellent range just keeps on coming. And your first star player of the game, New Balance player of the game, Cat. 23 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 10 out of 11 field goals with one three-pointer. And it was 31 performance with one dunk. And you could say now, how amazing would that be? It's excellent, just keep the flowing. Anyways, we'll be back here for the next part of the game, but I hope you all are having fun with us. And thanks for tuning in for the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports for tonight's game. If you would like to see the next part of the game, you can check out in the playlist section. That would be on the NBA 2K 20, 2K uh, postseason games. Every part of the year, you can watch it right now. It's right here in the end. I'll have that one at the end of the video. But in the meantime, thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you again for the next game. He and Cavs. That will be later on the other side. In the meantime, good night, having fun, and so long in Minnesota. For a while, it's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Peace! Gangsta! Out of here! And set it beast too. Have a good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.